Hey, welcome to I Lecture Online, and now we're going to do our third equation, our Lorentz transformation equation for velocity. Now we're going to solve for u. Remember, u was the velocity of the moving reference frame in reference to the stationary reference frame. So we take now the equation that we obtained on the previous video. We have v in terms of v prime, and we're going to use that equation to now solve that algebraically for u. So again, we're going to multiply this times this, so we end up with v times the quantity 1 plus v prime u over c squared is equal to v prime plus u. We get rid of the parentheses by multiplying this through, so we end up with v plus v, v prime u over c squared is equal to v prime plus u. And now we want all the terms that have a u in it on the left side of the equation, everything else on the right side of the equation. So we end up with v, v prime u over c squared minus u when we bring the u across and we end up with v prime minus v on the right side of the equation I'm bringing this to the right side next we want to factor out a u so we'll go ahead and move this over here and now we're going to factor out a u on the left side of the equation so that becomes u times and here we have v v prime divided by c squared minus 1 and that is going to be equal to v prime minus v. And what we're going to do is, because we like this in terms of 1 minus that quantity, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 by switching that around. So we multiply the rest, left side by negative 1, we get u times the quantity 1 minus v, v prime over c squared equals, we multiply the right side by negative 1, so that gives us v minus v prime. And finally, we can divide both sides by the quantity in the parentheses, so we end up with u is equal to v minus v prime divided by 1 minus v, v prime over c squared. And there is our third equation for velocity. In this case, we have v and v prime in terms of, I um, mean, we have u in terms of v and v prime. And if we put that in here, we end up with u is equal to v minus v prime divided by 1 minus v times v prime over c squared. And there's the third velocity equation that we obtained by using the Lorentz transformation equations. And that is how it's done. So now you have all three. So now you can figure out the velocity of any item, velocity of the event as seen by the observer in the moving reference frame, the velocity of the event as observed by the observer in the rest of the reference frame, or the velocity of the reference frame, the moving reference frame, in terms of the, of the uh, as, of, as observed by the stationary reference frame. And that's how we do that.